um, I'm feeling like a lot of you are starting new relationships or are looking for new relationship partners. So I don't feel like you're stuck in unhealthy relationships because I'm sensing, you know, the past three years have been major periods of reassessment for you guys, for those in longstanding relationships that weren't working. Uh, you're making contingency plans to leave or you have already severed the unhealthy relationship from your life. So you, you've, there was severance. And um, I'm also feeling as well, this is a, you know, it's Mercury retrograde. It's never a good time to, you know, start new dating ventures. But some of you have some prospects that you're looking at. Some of you might have started dating like towards the end of November. And you're still going to do a little bit more of a continuation of that. And that's fine as long as it's not started, you know, during the Mercury retrograde cycle. But we can't really put ourselves on. We can't really put our lives on hold for during this cycle. What it basically means is that we just need to be a little bit more cautious about who we get involved with. And we need to learn to be better at reading between the lines and, you know, screening people out in a better way okay um, I'm seeing some people as well you know that once again opportunity is calling so some people might have been dealing with grief like a separation from a past relationship so for whatever reason I feel like it's very final so like that person is no longer in the picture either physically or that emotional connection is no longer there so you're not seeing them again and it feels very final so they might have passed away they might have left the country um there was some situation where they're not coming back okay so it's like it seems to me very singular and very final and so you're trying to move on with your life, but love and romance is not really your primary focus. And so I, I see that coming in for some of you. And um, I'm also feeling as well long distance relationships that are that are quite good, but it's hard to work out the logistics. So I'm seeing long distance relationships. Okay, so let me talk about this spread. Let me talk about the foundation first. So what we have here is uh, the chariot. And um, this is a card about movement and travel and the progression of a relationship. So there is like some a little bit of a start, stop, start, stop type of energy to your relationship. And I feel some of you might be at a distance uh, from the person that you're dating. So this is like travel movement happening so that you can see each other so you can meet up. So it feels to me like the relationship happens in cycles so for example if you see each other every three months every four months when you get together things are very very blissful very great with the star card here and then when you separate from each other there is this sense of like missing one another feeling incomplete without the other person and feeling kind of like like you're just going through the motions going through the day but you really miss the other person you really long for the other person the star card as well so this denotes to me distance and it seems quite far and then the star card denotes to me some type of online communication so you might be skyping each other you might be emailing each other texting you know whatever it is it's through some type of electronic communication and i feel this is the month where, you know, it's the holiday season, so we tend to get a little bit more lonely. And the reality is you might be separated from the person that you're seeing. And it just feels that more difficult, you know, because it's the holiday season. Because you have this idealized uh, vision of, you know, being with your loved ones for the holidays. So I'm sensing some of you might be dealing with this. And um, I have here a can Syrian person. This is... Um, male or female with this chariot card and there are obstacles when it comes to coming to see this person and then i also feel for some of you there is an aquarius person with the star card is the representation of aquarius and it could be male or female and um i'm also feeling like there is just um this direction might be lacking in a sense of uh, this relationship might lack direction 
What do we want to do? How are we going to work out the logistics? How are we going to continue doing this? So I'm sensing there is a little bit of like, I'm sensing that it's difficult and long distance relationships are, but I feel for you especially, uh, this is the month where you're going to have to decide, you know, do how long do we keep doing this? Because I feel there is longing and missing somebody and I feel like it's not just from you, it's from them as well. Um, so I feel like it, the re relationship is lacking focus, it's lacking direction. Two people are at two different points in their lives. One person might feel um, like, you know, the career is taking off and then the other person feels very, very stuck and stagnant. And so it's hard for the two of you to figure out what you need to do, what's the next step, how do we move forward, okay? In the past position, we have as well the Three of Coins and the Eight of Swords. The Three of Coins, this is some type of um, relationship where there might have been, you know, um, I, I feel like work issues getting in the way. If you have to move for a job, you might now be at a distance from your partner. If there were like a lot of stress and strain on the job, unemployment even, or being let go from a job, or you know, some a partner has to take a job from far away, I feel like that really affected the relationship. And you could be married to them, and you have to make this decision as a couple. And one person, you know, is not able to do that, is not able to accommodate. And then as a result, you're just like, okay, let's just try to be together despite these differences or despite these obstacles. And you find yourself now with the Eight of Swords kind of stuck. How do I move forward? How do we move forward? What should we do? And, you know, how to work out the logistics is what I keep hearing. So I feel like the love is there. That's not really the problem. The love is there. The commitment is there. There might be communication breakdowns. There might be, you know, you, you might not be the most compatible with each other, but I feel like there is love, there is inspiration, there is hope for this relationship. It's just very, very hard because it's hard to work out the logistics, which brings us to the present moment. <clears throat> and we have here the Ace of Coins. And this is usually, you know, uh, new love relationships that are coming in. So for those of you who have recently broken off a relationship or you're in a relationship and you're just like let's make this an open relationship because geographically we're so far apart is not practical you might have new opportunities coming into the picture this is the ace of pentacles and it usually means for me uh, a new love like a new something that is very stable possibly with an earth sign a taurus a virgo or a capricorn sun moon or rising and this is a somebody brand new that is coming into your life but you're still grieving you're still you know five of cups this is like still thinking about the past still ruminating over the past still emotionally tied up with that other person and while you have something really great very you know worthy of your time that you should invest in that you should like see how it's going to pan out i feel like some of you are going into it very half-heartedly or you're refusing it because you're not emotionally ready okay so i'm sensing some people in open relationships and i'm also some sensing some people as well you have a relationship you don't know where things are going and there is somebody else that you're meeting that is showing interest in you and i feel a very strong earth sign energy here with this queen of coins so this is the uh, queen of pentacles this can be a male or a female um, this is someone who <laughs> i feel like they like food for whatever reason that uh, line i i heard that they like food they like you know um they like to wine and dine they like to cook or they like food so it could be you know even that cancerian person with strong earth placement in their card because i know cancers love 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 food they love to cook as well they love to care for and nurture the people that they love and um for some of you this is a brand new person this is you know we have here a uh, an earth sign very solid loves animals cares about people loves children and they have a good heart because I feel like 
they guard their heart. They're not like overly uh, verbally expressive, but they are very physically uh, expressive and they're very affectionate. And so you have someone here that you can, you know, go the distance with. With the nine of coins, this is somebody who's very, very financially stable. They've, um, they might have like, you know, they might be a trust fund baby where they come from a wealthy family and they've just been raised with very good manners, good education and things like that. Or they're self-made. Um, they are self-employed in some way and they have a lot of financial abundance at their disposal. But aside from the financial stability associated with this person, I feel like this is a very solid, practical, grounded type of person. They might be older than you, you guys as well, is what I'm feeling. And they might also be somebody that is showing you interest in your work environment. And I feel they're, they're a little bit shy. I'm drawn to this little bunny here. So I feel like they're a little bit shy, shy. And I also feel there is also a little bit of, um, this is a really good person here. So if you're dating, if you're, you know, um, out there dating, I feel like this is somebody that is showing you a lot of affection, but keep in mind, they're very direct with the things that they do. And so if you're not for whatever reason, if you're not feeling this person, don't lead them on. Okay. Because I feel like that's going to really hurt the, the relationship between the two of you in the end, because they might not want to be, um, they might feel misled and they might not want to stay friends. On the other hand, if this is somebody that you want to have a relationship with, it's a really good relationship partner. They're loving, caring, dedicated. So you've got some good things here, Sagittarius. Crowning this reading is something that you're thinking about. I have here the world and um, I have to go back to that message. You know, adventure is waiting. Life is kind of waiting for you. So this is you, your life, opportunities opening up. And I feel like, you know, you're that little bunny encapsulated inside that bubble. So you're not yet ready emotionally for some of you. If you've dealt with like a recent loss of a love relationship partner, you might feel a little bit um, body issues, body image issues, um, not feeling like you have healed up. You might still be undergoing, you know, therapy. You might not feel like you're at your best self just yet to embrace this new relationship or to, you know, put yourself out there, advertise that you're looking or even be comfortable in your own skin so that you can start dating. But I feel like this is the beginning of something really good because you're aware of all the opportunities around you. You're aware that there is this earth sign here showing you interest. And uh, the world here is linked up with the emperor. So you have somebody who is in a position of authority and power and they're showing you interest. So I feel for some of you, I'm getting very strong fire energy. And this is, um, this is an Aries person, but the, the energy is very fiery. So it could be another Sagittarius, an Aries or a Leo, because this card is all flame. So I feel like there is somebody showing you interest. They're very, they're not candid about it. They're very clear about what they want. And I feel like they're going to be very clear with you about what they have to offer. So a lot of you are moving away from the past starting new relationships. Some of you are still in an existing relationship. It's really not going anywhere. And I honestly feel like a big part of you knows that. And you're going to get signs that kind of validate this. And I feel like the person that you're with is not a bad person at all. It's just hard to work out the logistics and the future for this relationship because there's an element here of distance. It's long distance. It's fun. It's thrilling. It's exciting, but it's not very practical. And so you're looking for something that is a little bit more, you know, you're looking for someone that is present. You're looking for someone that is here. You're looking for someone that is real, that you can be there with in, you know, in flesh and blood. So I feel that's why this relationship, it's stalled. It has nothing to do with the other person or how you feel about them. But there's new opportunities coming in. So if you're still stuck in a past relationship and there's new opportunities coming in, you might miss out on the new opportunities, okay? This is not to say that we can trade one relationship partner for another. 
but it's more about you know are you getting what you need from your existing relationships or are you better off with somebody that you know is going to be true okay so i feel like you have some you have somebody that's definitely showing you interest you have somebody as well that is definitely on your mind and i feel like honor and integrity is really on your mind for this month there might be some temptation coming in from an earth sign or even from an, a fire sign but i feel like there is a sense of honor and integrity and you might be grappling with a decision should i step out of a relationship or should i you know break off with one person go for another but the ultimate thing is there is a matter of like ethics integrity trying to do the right thing and i feel like that is also something you're heavily fixated on and it's going to do uh, direct and dictate your decision. I, I'm sensing many of you will go with the new person that's showing you love and affection and I feel like they're a really really good person. Okay quite attractive too is what I'm feeling but they're very nurturing and they're really caring. Um, I, I guess the key word here is I feel like they like they like animals and children. You know, they love animals. They care about animals. They're a very good provider, a very good caretaker. And I, I'm sensing that if you see the way they interact with people that are weaker than them and they're so um, compassionate, I feel like that's the right person. They might, you know, have a lot of wealth and prestige and power, but when they deal with somebody who's a lot weaker or a lot more in dire need and you just see the way that how affectionate they are or how compassionate they are that's really going to melt you and it's going to make you believe that this is a really good person okay so sagittarius i do wish you all the best um it looks very good okay but let old relationships go if a relationship is kind of stagnant and realistically you're just like i don't know where things are going try something new try something new and uh, give yourself, you know, don't um, don't be bogged down by guilt, okay? Don't be bogged down by, I have to see it through and stubbornly, you know, walk down the path where you feel it's not going to end up where you want it to be or where you want to be. I just feel like you're bogged down with a lot of, um, I have to do this, I have to do that. And you might let a good opportunity pass you by, okay? So this is not a white card or um, a free ride for you know stepping outside your relationship this is just being realistic about where relationships are headed and is it the relationship that is bringing you everything that you want okay and being very realistic with yourself and honest with yourself when you ask yourself that question and answer that question honestly all right